Welcome to our guide on how to get good at Mwera. Perhaps with the highest healing potential in the game, a good player will be rewarded by having a borderline unkillable team. Her left click healing is an insane 80 HP per second, and with a range equal to Mercy's beam, this Irish scientist is sure to give that Swedish rule 34 piece of shit a run for her money. Unfortunately, her stream of healing piss that comes from her hands lasts just short of 10 seconds before running dry. Mwera players can either wait an insane 45 seconds to be fully regenerated, or they can use their right click on filthy enemy players to get it all back in a fraction of that time. The healing stream also leaves a healing over time effect for the next 3 seconds, which gives targets roughly the same healing as a Lucio existing nearby. Use this heal over time to stretch your healing resource when your teammates don't have a beastix liver of health left. However, when you're in the thick of the fight, consider using your healing orb for an easy as fuck 300 healing to anyone nearby and the most carefree boost to your ultimate charge you'll ever receive. Use this to heal teammates that are out of range or to make it impossible for anyone to even attempt to take down your tanks. Your healing essentially gives your tanks exponentially more health. Meaning even the most skilled of DPS players will need to kneel before you and your now unkillable friend. However, sometimes your team decides to listen to loud music, let their two-year-old brother play, or simply lose all motive function in their hands. Regardless, being the pro that you are, feel free to do their fucking job and show the other team that you taught Seagull everything he knows. Low HP targets can be easy picking for this overpowered David Bowie looking fuck and be melted faster than Kevin Spacey coming out as gay. In fact a 200 HP target can be killed in only 1.6 seconds by using both her right click and her damage orb. By just throwing this flying purple people fucker down a crowded choke point, it is a quick way to build your ultimate charge and maybe kill some poor idiot who decided to get in your fucking way. Speaking of her fucking ultimate, this shit gets charged faster than a Genji main, spamming for healing from the start of the match. This Dragon Ball Z level shit makes it even more impossible for your teammates to be murdered. Use it when your team is about to get slaughtered, or when trying to make a meaningful push. It should be noted that on its own, this ability is likely to do fuck all, if not coupled with other offensive abilities, so don't expect it to win any fights without the monkeys on your team getting their fucking jobs done. Always try to prioritize healing when possible, as the damage potential is only slightly higher than your regular pathetic right click ability. Also keep in mind that any kind of stun ability will shut you the fuck down and wish you never committed to buying those shiny bracelets that no one ever fucking notices. The last thing this ability can do is stall the fuck out of a point when needed and keep even the most helpless and outnumbered members of your team from getting unquestionably fucked up. But if all hope seems lost and it feels like you're about to die, then don't even fucking worry about it because you have an ability that can teleport you right the fuck out of any situation you don't want to be in. Players might be thinking that such an incredible ability would be on one of the longest cooldowns in the game. But Blizzard says fuck no to that idea and lets you use this get out of the jail shower free button every 6 seconds. So feel free to use this shit to relocate or get away from danger if you think you won't need it in the next 5 seconds. You can also use this to nope the fuck away from a hard earned Zarier ultimate or to drop that pulse bomb that Tracer was able to expertly stick to you. Or if your team has won a fight and the enemy team have decided to retreat, use this shit to hunt them the fuck down and stagger them another 20 fucking seconds. The last thing you can do with this fade is a difficult trick jump that will let you get anywhere you fucking want. A video of over a hundred fade jumps by a much better channel called CarQ is in the description. Watch that shit and thank me later. The best place for you to be is in the thick of the fight at all times. You want your entire team to be around you and you want to be prioritizing healing over doing damage if at all possible. It's when your team spreads out and try to do their own thing when you struggle to carry them. You can't save idiots who have no sense of self-preservation. Your right click has a range of 21 meters, meaning that you shouldn't be afraid to challenge a widow, Farah, or anyone else who has a heavy incentive to stay the fuck away from you. 
this goes for all players, but if at all possible, let your healers take the health packs, so they can stay alive to let you get the quad kills you were looking for. If D.Va decides to self-destruct, a well-timed fade will leave that ultimate more useless than a bronze hand domain. This concludes a guide on how to get good at Mwera. You'll now be able to easily carry your entire team, play for several hours without dying, and get 5 gold medals every game. Subscribe for more content that's used as Overwatch League training videos, but until next time, have fun and embrace the bullshit.